Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Hunt for Bronze. Today we're in a different body of water. We're at uh, Barren Pocket Dam, chasing bass. It's an electric-only motor dam, so I've got the the petty motor lifted up out of the water. Um, plan is today we're going to go test some new lures on the edge. But now that I've kind of pushed through, I found a uh, cheeky school of bass here, so we're going to give them a go. Uh, we'll give them a go, and hopefully we can scrub a few. I'm getting them on side scan as well, so it's a good sign. Let's uh. Let's get to it straight away. I've got a blade on right now, but we'll put a placky on real soon. Look at this for a fish. Holy cow. Sound is going mental. I really should be dropping down a plastic to him. So we'll start wide off this point and work our way in with the blade. So we'll go probably a couple of casts as we move in with this blade down the uh, drop off. Good search and bait in the winter, a blade up here, Queensland. I find it less effective in New South Wales. Um, there's a fish right on the bottom there. Right on the drop, there's a couple of fish. I also don't mind when I come up onto a point two to make some casts along the contour because you often see fish along that contour line. Um, if you see fish on a contour, it's worth paralleling it because they might actually be sitting in that certain depth. So I'm actually going to cast slightly off parallel because I drifted over them but from where I saw them they were that line there oh I'm gonna put my hood on because the back of my neck is freezing let's go in and fish a jerk bait in shallow while we got the low light see if we can find a hungry fish up there Yep, there we go. Oh, it's taken way too long. And it's taken way too long to get anything. A little fella, but we got one. We got one. He's a football too. And we got a little guy. Tiny little guy. Just gonna throw him up into the shallow water here. No, damn it. I was hoping you uh, wouldn't go back down because he's probably gonna spook that school. Considering they're so fussy as it is. Hopefully it fires them up. Yeah. Right, so I've sat on this school for far too long. We're gonna pick it off and we're gonna go um, start fishing around this edge here.
and it's getting windy now as predicted we can go fish windblown banks which isn't too much of an issue go fish windblown points probably catch fish to be honest Yep, there we go. We got one. Yes. Woo! First fish caught on this lure. Look at it. He's tiny. But first one. First bass on this. Uh, I actually think this is the first fish in Australia caught on the squash shard. Still not 100% sure on what they're eating, so I feel really, I feel like I'm really jumping around techniques to, try to find what they'll bite on. I mean, thus far we've got a couple of hits on this plastic, a hit on a blade, a fish on a blade, a fish on this plastic. So, I mean, potential for this to, to have a few things but I don't know, I'm just not 100% on anything just yet it's a different dam um, being in the mountains here too there's no not many slow tapered banks however that one does look slow tapered and now there's a bit of wind on it with the sun I'll go over and have a look at it um, Oh, holy cow, that would have been a big fish, holy dooly, well, there it is, that's the sign we wanted. getting out another one of those bad boys. The old two inch flash go. One eight pound big head. Gonna do exactly the same thing and hope for uh, slightly better results. There we go. Got him. Got him. Finally. Oh, it's taken all day. But persistence paid off. I watched him going through on the sounder. 
and that's what we ended up with. Not a huge fish by any stretch of the imagination, but with the fish, and once he calms down, I'll show him to you. Ah, and there you go. That's him there, not huge, not big, but a healthy bass. Very happy with that. Right. Oh, they followed the grub down. They followed the grub down. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, hit. Back down it goes. Got that hit. Got that deep grub and did it. All right, down on the bottom again. Let's see. Take two. I'm turning around, so uh, wind. But we got one bass off there, a couple of hits. We have stuck on it too long, but it's windy and it, no matter where we go, it's going to be ridiculously hard to fish. So I thought. We may as well have a look in there. I could go look down one of these backs of these bays, but I'm not overly confident in it, to be honest. Not overly confident in it. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing up and spot locking off these uh, windblown points. And we're trying to fish them that way. So we got one of those bass on then, quarter ounce. I think it's a smack jig head of all things. Um, small hook sharp on the old two inch flash jay. Okay, so we just retrofit fitted a set of stingers to the back of this vibe. When I bring it in, I'll show you. But I just had, I've had two hits in here now and they've both missed the hook. So I just thought, I'm tangled. Anyway, I thought the stingers would be a good idea because they'd um, just give a little bit better, potentially a little bit better purchase. Nope, I've got weed. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got those little stinger singles, little assists on the back. And we're gonna see how they go. I'm, um, I think they actually might be able to just, just, just get the fish that uh, have a little nip at it. I do something. It's been an awful slow day. A lot of bites. Not much size though. Let's see if a vibe can get them. Some vibe action on them. answer my question yes it's a little bass little 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 bass that uh answered that didn't it I wonder why they're hitting the plastic and not hooking up tiny Surely there's got to be a big one in there with them. Yep, there we go. Actually, 
actually might be a better fish. I don't know. I don't know if it's a better fish or he's just hooked funny. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Definitely a better quality fish. Oh, finally. And look at that, they are definitely sitting on the bottom. Look at those black marks on him. Yeah, they're sitting right on the bottom. Whew, that one took all day, but we did it. Ah, oh, we did it. And the school's fired now. It's actually a solid bass. That's so cool. Look at him. Really interesting to see all the mud on their bellies though. They are definitely sitting right on the bottom. How cool is that? And that's what he came from. All right. See you, dude. Come back. There we go. That's a small one. Boom. Bitty bitty baby, that one. I will quick release him. Hopefully get the lure down before he gets down and uh, see if they're fired up. Maybe that line. There might be other fish in the school there. And just hop it through. Might work. Might not. We only know if I try. Yeah. Can't be that big, he's not really pulling. Wow. Talk about over eager, but again, they've all got mud on the bottom of them. I think that's actually poo, but. Yep. Not a big one, but on my noodle, it's fun. <laughs> All right, the middle one works, but where is his bigger brothers is the real question. Oh, that's how you know what kind of day it was. That is all the different lures I've tried and thrown and not well, caught and also not caught anything on. There you go guys, another episode of the Hunt for Bronze done and dusted. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad when I get to the edit of this. Um, I guess the standout lure in the end became the Smarky Vibalicious, a, a uh, soft vibe. Uh, I think it's a 65 mil one. I don't actually know the size. About three inch, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's about three inches. Uh, but retrofitting it, fitting it with stingers, uh, that was a big difference as well because those stingers just pinned the lip of that bigger fish, which was the only good fish we caught all day. Um, but you saw it, we tried the new uh, the new Domeki soft plastic as well. I've got a good feeling that that's going to do really, really well uh, for brim. A really good feeling that uh, that'll be a 
mint bremlure. Uh, the way it hops, it looks like a little prawn, almost to a T. ACM custom rods again. Uh, everything from, well, you saw it. I used the whole array today, all of them. So if you want to get yourself an ACM, just description below, follow the links, go to Aaron's website, have a look at the rods or blanks you want, shoot him a message on Facebook or Instagram, and uh, there you go, you'll never turn back. That's it though. I really, I really have nothing else. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are slowly, slowly making our way to that 2000 mark. Overall, yes, I would come back here. Um, yeah, probably would come back here. I actually really want to come back here. Wouldn't mind coming here in almost early spring. I think early spring will uh, be pretty dynamite. Or come on a day where we haven't had a cold front blow through and we've actually got a high pressure system. Whereas today where it was blowing, it's tits off. And uh, yeah, yeah. A bit worried at the stage there because my battery on my... Electric was only showing a certain amount. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go out fish and enjoy yourselves. Until next time, we out.